I'd like to encourage you if you if you like what you see and you're finding benefit in it, please hit the like and then and click on subscribe and uh, we'll be glad to have you along with us. We'll let you know when we're putting more videos up that way. Thank you. Uh, Dennis here at Capital Training and Shoeing. I'm going to catch a horse here. I, I personally have caught her a few times now. She came in here. She'd had a lot of experience in the round pen. And uh, this is pretty common for horses that have been, quote, round penned a lot. They learn that they can just escape you going down the wall. So the they're always looking for that opportunity, it seems like, to get by you instead of for the opportunity to stop and pay attention to you and come to you to let you put the halter on. So the way I hold my halter in preparation for this, I just put my hand through right below the eye that, that the halter would tie on and I'll lay the, the part that goes over the horse's neck in my palm as well. And then I can put part of my lead rope in that hand if I need to and that leaves me this this little bit of rope here as a tool so uh, I'm gonna just approach her here she had been getting pretty good about facing up so this might not take very long but the principle will be the same regardless of time spent doing it so uh, right now she's not paying any attention to me so I'm not close enough to be in a spot of influence so I'm gonna just approach her until I see her acknowledge my presence she looked away so when she when she looks away I'm putting more pressure on her I know that when she turns away she's gonna go down that wall so I'm already preparing myself to get ahead of her up here she turned there and acknowledged me when she came out of that corner and then she left there's a good acknowledgement then she turned and left. She's just looking for a way to get on that rail and leave. I let her stand there. I'd like for her to step forward without thinking about going down that rail. So when she thinks about going down that rail, I put more pressure on her. pressure comes off good response as soon as she made that effort to leave I put more response more effort This is not necessarily about catching her. This is about setting it up so you don't have to go through this every time when you come out to catch her. You know, <laughs> you don't always have an hour to let one run around the pen before they decide that it's okay to be caught. So if she'd want to get down that wall to leave me and I didn't let her go. She's looking for a place of relief. And she knows where it is, but there's something inside of her that at this point wants to keep her attention drew out the other way. Sticking her head over the back fence and look, acting like she can't turn around is not an excuse. Acting like she needed a drink is not an excuse. By excuse, I mean her excuse to not pay attention to me. She's just doing... Beat me down the rail. So I'll just go down and work on this end of the pen a little bit. There 
here we go. There's a change. See, she knows how to get down that rail, take advantage of you. And when she turns there and comes towards me, she's not, she's not thinking about letting me catch her necessarily. She's thinking about getting enough, getting close enough to me so she can go around me. Now she's she's acknowledged me there in a pretty good way. Her thoughts are pretty good right now. I can see in her eye that she's ready to stand. I'm not gonna catch her. She went right there. She told me she was gonna leave. So I'll let her have a little bit of little bit of room right there. And this is a step by step process. My talking is making this more difficult. I'm gonna shut up here now for a minute and get my, see if I can touch her. Now if I were to catch her at this, at this point, in my opinion, I would be doing myself a disservice and her as well. I just want her to know that I can, I can set it up for her to look at me, set it up for her to stay stationary, and that when I do approach her, I'm not gonna hurt her. I'm gonna just touch her and leave her alone. Now I'm using this halter and lead rope as a brush. And she could leave anytime she wanted to. Come back and give her away. <laughs> One thing I see a lot of, a lot of times People want to hide the halter and sneak up on them and then spring it on them when you get up there. <laughs> and they just laugh at you and run off when you do that. So, so we got to set it up. Set it up. She left me. So she's, so paying attention to me is the best deal for her. Putting her nose down and ignoring me doesn't work. Paying attention to me does work. Looking off doesn't work. Paying attention does work. Yes, ma'am. She started to have a real good change right there and she couldn't help herself. She had to look off the other way and leave. It's just like when she changes eyes. When she changes eyes. And right now that's very good. I'm gonna let her be there. I don't want to keep backing up from her there, but at this point, I need to back up from her here, I feel like. She stayed, she stayed stationary. She stayed focused on me. She let me touch her. Naturally, I could catch her here right now. But again, the whole point of this is not, not to catch her, but to arrange this thought so that we can catch her. And if we need to catch her out in a big area, we can. Right now, if, you, if the area is too big, when they're in this frame of mind, you, you can't hardly get anything to work for you. But when they, when they finally agree that, that staying in your presence is the best deal for them, then we've, we've started to, to uh, develop that relationship that will carry over no matter where we are. So now I am gonna go ahead and put the halter on. So this is why, why that I have the halter in my hand the way I do so I can reach over, come over her neck, and then just real, real softly, simply place her nose in that halter. Get this knot tied on there. Anyway, that's that's the process that I put all of them through, and uh, you know, there's none of them that won't come 
to the agreement that paying attention to the handler is the is the easiest deal for them and they'll gladly offer themselves when you present yourself to them in a way they understand.